Alzheimer's disease is the most prevalent neurodegenerative disease characterized by cognitive decline and associated with extracellular plaques consisting of insoluble A-beta peptide as well as intraneuronal tau tangles in the brain. The A-beta peptide is generated by processing of the amyloid precursor protein and immediately afterwards appears as multimers of various kinds. The amyloid cascade hypothesis states that abnormal multimerization of the amyloidogenic peptide A-beta is the origin of Alzheimer's disease and that soluble low-N A-beta oligomers precede the formation of the large insoluble extracellular plaques. Precisely defining the biological functions of each single A-beta oligomer in vivo has been difficult so far because there is a kinetic equilibrium between different multimeric states. The A-beta dimers are neurotoxic and can explain some of the early symptoms that Alzheimer's disease patients manifest. We wanted to investigate whether a beta dimers could account for early effects of cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's disease and create an in vivo mouse model for elucidating early Alzheimer's disease. A second question was to investigate the relation between soluble neurotoxic A-beta dimers and insoluble A-beta plaques. We generated a transgenic mouse that expresses A-beta with an artificial mutation where a serine at position 8 of the A-beta peptide is replaced with a cysteine. This A-beta species, termed A-beta S8C, stabilizes A-beta dimers by forming a covalent bond through a disulfide bridge. Molecular dynamic simulations showed that the conformation of wild-type A-beta dimers would be very similar to A-beta S8C dimers. The generated transgenic mouse for A-beta dimers, termed TG dimer mouse, expresses exclusively soluble A-beta dimers and not monomers or higher molecular weight soluble or insoluble A-beta multimers. During its entire lifespan of two years, this TG dimer mouse line does not develop insoluble A-beta plaques, unlike comparable transgenic mouse models for Alzheimer's disease like the CRND8 mouse, for example, even though the generated levels of A-beta are similar. No histological changes in astrocytosis or neuroinflammation are observed in the TG dimer mouse. However, the TG dimer mouse line shows deficits in the Morris water maze, a test for learning and memory, similar to cognitive deficits reported in other mouse models for Alzheimer's disease. Consistent with these findings, we report deficits in long-term potentiation as well as synaptotoxicity for A-beta S8C dimers. We then investigated whether the A-beta dimers that themselves are unable to initiate insoluble A-beta aggregates and plaques could be recruited into existing insoluble A-beta plaques. We crossed TG dimer mice to CRND8 mice and purified insoluble A-beta from the progeny to find out whether they contained A-beta S8C. Indeed, we find that A-beta S8C dimers are recruited to insoluble A-beta generated from the CRND mouse transgene, indicating that A-beta S8C dimers are principally able to associate to plaques, even though not able to initiate the process spontaneously.